almost guess what time it is yes it's nine o'clock at night but guess what time it almost is yes that's right ladies and gentlemen guess what time it is and i don't mean on the clock i know i have three more hours before don't mind me i am so exhausted i just watched the lord of the rings the first one i am not that kind of person that cares about movies like that like really but i have to say <laughs> rachel's friend who is like a fanatic with it sat down with us i said the only way i can watch that movie man i already tried is if you sit there and you tell me what's going on so he did and i got it and i understood it and it was very good so in a couple of days we're gonna watch the second one and we're just gonna keep watching movies that we don't get with him but this night is special because in three hours let me see Three hours yep i am going to have a birthday Woohoo! yep do you even know how old i'm going to be good you guess it right now and then if you would put it in the comment i just want to see if you have it right do you know how well do you know the catholic unschooler <laughs> okay well i'm going to reveal it to you you ready go it is 50, I'm gonna be 52. My mother's like, you're a kid, you know? But I remember being little and saying, I know this pillow is really musty, but it's special. Um, I remember thinking like, wow, 40 years old. I remember being really young. And I thought like, wow, 40. That, I, must, I must have heard the number 40 somewhere as, as someone's age and I was like, you might as well be dead. But I am grateful to God that I've made it this far, and I have no idea what I'm doing tomorrow because my daughter, who was in remission from cancer, her blood count is extremely low, and I can't just go anywhere because she has to be super careful with protecting herself from germs. So I'll probably just end up staying home. All right, but I am going to go get my favorite chips, and I'm going to get my favorite ice cream, which is all healthy i mean when i say chips i know they're potatoes but i do eat potatoes um but there's no canola oils and they're really really tasty and wonderful and the ice cream i eat is enlightened <coughs> which i really like all right off and running i'll see you tomorrow thank you for your birthday wishes ahead of time all right <laughs> Actually, before I go, I must reflect at the things of this past year. And I must think about what I'm showing the window because it's how I lay here and talk to God. But I want to think about, you know, what I hope for this coming year. But my, my last year was fine. I was very grateful. I grew a lot in my faith with God. And I had a lot of distrust in the beginning and somewhat in the middle, but started getting better with trusting towards the end. And I do hope and pray that I can... Um, I mean, I started getting healthier in the last four months. So I know that I will continue in this year and the rest of my life. So I want to see my health improve all the time and my being all the time. And I want my faith to grow and I want to trust the Lord more. And I want to find, I want to grow more and more in my purpose why I'm here on the earth. That's my goal is to be healthier all the time and to really dive deep into my purpose. Yay. Thank you, God. I love you, Lord. I love you. Thank you for my birthday. Thank you that you knit me in my mommy, my mommy's womb. Yes. Thank you, God. I love you. Oh, he thought of me. Yes. 52 years ago. Yep. Very good. Actually, it's more almost on the lines of 53 because, you know, you're in the womb for nine months, so 
Thank you. I'm really, I'm really that old if you think about it. Everybody, right? And isn't the, the, the Japanese do that or somebody like that? All right. Good night, Lisa. Good night. Don't forget to say your prayers. Look, I was sound asleep and my son FaceTimed me from his room. Wishing me a happy birthday. Yay. Good night. Ooh. I got a present. I'm not even out of bed yet. Get up. Thanks. I have to stand up? No, you have to just sit up. I have to sit up? You have to open it. Yeah, but I, I will open it. Can I lay down and do it? No. Hey, mister. Mister's here too, joining us. Oh, you mister, 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 mister. Okay, put it there. All right. Here we go. Put it I really will. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, I'll be right back. Look, the mister wants to help, too. I know this is an awkward angle. I should not be laying down, especially on TV. But it's my birthday, and I'm doing it, honey. I just got the best phone call. Oh, my gosh. My friend Julia. I used to work with her, and we just became friends. That's how we met, okay? We met sitting across the table. And she was interviewing me. Isn't that funny? For a job at a nursing home many moons ago. So, and then I ended up following her. She was leaving um, two weeks after she hired me. And I was like, what? You're leaving? Like, I got the job because I really, I wanted to work there. But um, I wanted to be with her, too. After I met her, I was like, oh, man, I'm so excited you're going to be with me. And then I get there. And then she's like, oh, two weeks, I'm leaving. I'm like, no. And then I said, you have to. She goes, don't worry. I'll, 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 I'll call you when there's an opening. And six months later, she did. And I followed her to that place. We worked for years together. And now we're just really good friends for a very long time. So, and that was so long ago, seriously. But I want to, I want to show you. Oh, my gosh. You're not going to believe this, Okay. I did not know that. All right. Well, oh, Sarah, do you have the other coffee? Okay. She's got the other one because she's making me breakfast in bed. Isn't it cute? Okay. But they have Catholic coffee. Okay. For any saint that you want, pretty much, you know. So she got me St. Joseph decaf. And the reason why it's decaf, it has St. Joseph on the front. And we all know, if you know Lisa Fry is the um saint joseph is the saint that i when Stephen died i looked up at the sky and i said saint joseph because he was the foster father for the holy you know for jesus and he was the protector of the holy family so i was like i need you to protect me here is my my property here's my money here's i even gave him my children and i said here's the house it all belongs to you i don't even want it you take it and i will work for you and so she got me saint joseph decaf because the decaf, it was called Sleepy Time or something, or Sleeping St. Joseph, because he is known to not only protect the Holy Family, but he would have these um, dreams, and um, God would show him what to do and how to protect the Holy Family. So, yeah, so that's, get it, Sleepy Time, or Sleepy St. Joseph. And this one is um, Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Okay, and this is so great. And then you know what I might do too today? I might just go take a a a, a drive by. Maybe I'll go get Peter and um, go by this monastery. There's a monastery not too far from me, and I want to go see it. Oh my gosh, that'd be so exciting! Oh, and I actually thought to myself because I only had instant coffee, and I said, you know what? I like instant coffee, but it's not my favorite. It's not a like, woohoo. And the St. Joseph one is a dark. It's like this. They have all these circles, right? On like the lightest of the darkest. It's the darkest one. Oh, I love it. I like it to grow hair on your chest. You know, it's just like. And um, so I wished that I had it. And I have coffee. And it's being made for me. And I don't even want to get up. It's already 930. And I got this beautiful phone call from Julia. She's crying. And she's just telling me how proud she is of me. And we were both crying on the phone. I'm like thank you so much. I'm like, if I receive nothing else, I said, oh my gosh, you and Sarah both have blessed me. And Seth, oh yeah, and I might go to my favorite restaurant later, but not in it. I'll have to just order out. Yes, because I think I'm getting that eggplant parmesan. Because anybody who knows the Catholic on school knows that one of my favorite, absolute favorite, beyond belief food is eggplant parmesan. Isn't this attractive, right? I'm on your screen right now, laying down like this. Uh, I'm sorry. 
but I just, I can't move. This is what I want to do for my birthday right now is nothing. Ugh, I am so incredibly sore. <sighs> what am I even saying? Oh, I raked for two and a half hours. I am so incredibly, every fiber muscle in my body is completely aching because of all that raking. All right. I'm going to go drink my coffee as soon as it's done. I can try to start to smell it. Isn't that cute? She's making it for me and I can't stop talking. Do what you love and don't do anything else because then you, you won't have work a day in your life. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I have to tell you guys. Oh my gosh. I know I'm trying to stop talking, but I can't. Listen up. Listen, listen. I'm sorry if there's any makeup left over. I've been rubbing it all off. But listen, you didn't know this, did you? I have a podcast. Oh, yes, I do. Um, it is on Spotify. So if you... You have to look up Thriving Through Chaos. Hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo. It's not up yet, I don't think. I think it takes a little while. Like, I definitely put it up. You can find it on my Facebook, too. Lisa Fry. All right, I gotta go. I can hear you. Footsteps. What do you got? I have some potatoes. And mm, I'll be avocado. there. Avocado and potatoes. Ugh, you say potato, I say avocado. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. oh my goodness, grape juice. Ketchup. Yeah, for the salt. Ooh, 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 ooh. How cute. Thanks, dude. Wow. This is unbelievable. I usually don't eat ketchup. I'll just put a little tiny bit on there. Mmm. That is so good. Sarah, that's amazing. How'd you do that? Mmm. It's gross watching people eat, huh? I do watch them on TV, though. That's kind of gross, though, at the same time. It just is. A birthday mukbang. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Oh, so good. Thank you, God, for my birthday. You thought of me. Woohoo! Ah, we got our coffee. Bon appetito, because this is keto. All right, I got my Catholic coffee. And yes, I am going out with Peter. I'm going to show you guys um, where I'm going. I'm going to, I don't mean to leave my kids and I feel bad about it, but I'm just going out for a short time and I'm coming right back. I'm going to meet my mother and then I'm going to... I'm going to show you the monastery. I don't know. I know nothing about it. Something in here smells like wet socks. Oh, it's so, it's so beautiful out. Can I tell you right now? It's gorgeous. Oh, I am. I'm so blessed right now. Like I woke up, I felt anxious and I'm like, ugh. so don't forget my podcast. Oh yeah. Thriving through chaos. All right. So I am so relieved you know it was i think it was like the culmination of like all all the phone calls and the texts that i've been receiving and all the blessings that my own children are doing it just kind of lifts you up higher and higher you know i got to talk to bobby our best man and my friend christine and my friend julia and family members and it's just like you know it is your day it's like you know it's like a feast day right a feast day is when somebody dies uh and they consider that person a saint uh, and uh, we celebrate the day they died and entry into heaven. Well, we all celebrate that, right? Well, this kind of feels like that. It's like, you know, a day of just celebrating that one person. And it's so nice. It kind of feels selfish, but at the same time, it's very exciting. And then tomorrow is Stephen's birthday. That's right. We always had, we always had a birthday week together. <laughs> so I think I'm going to get... Um, the food today, right? We always went out to eat on my birthday and then we went out to get dessert on his birthday. So I really don't know what to do about all that because unless I save, yes, I could save going to get ice cream. I was gonna get that enlightened ice cream and my favorite healthy chips, but maybe I'll just do that tomorrow for his birthday. You know what? Yeah. The birds are singing. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. Oh, I got my coffee. We're going to get Pete and I will be back. We're going to go say thank you to God at the monastery. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. 
Guess what, everybody? We found it. There it is. There it is. These are the holy grounds. And look, I think you, there's a place you can walk around inside. See, you can probably do the stations on the cross. Looky, looky, looky. This is what the Catholic gun school is doing for her birthday. Let's go and thank God. Imagine he thought of me 52 years ago in nine months. <laughs> Oh, wow, this is great. This is wonderful. God. Actually, I'll go right here. Ooh, this is nice. Look, it says... Do they actually interact with other people? Um, yes, they can, but they usually stay behind these bars. It's called the cell. Because they're, they're offering their lives up in prayer. Wow. You see what I'm saying? So let's go look around. Yeah. So these are the guys that... Or women, I should say. These are the people that give up all of their life. Now you might say, what's the big deal? See, there's a statue of St. Therese yeah. right there. Careful, there's a curb. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're, they give up their life to pray for the world and yeah. offer it up as a sacrifice for the love of God. You might think like, uh, I used to think, but that's crazy. They'd be more beneficial outside, yeah, right? That's what Mother Teresa ended up doing. Yeah, so everybody she has said, their I'm calling. Not, I'm not staying inside. Right. I'm gonna go off to the real world. Exactly. So everybody has their own. Like I think, I feel very similar to what these women are like. I could do this. Yeah. I think I could anyway. You know. Yeah. Um, I love being inside my own house. I love sacrificing and like my one of my dreams is to just be in my own cell. Um, <laughs> not a, not a, not Maybe a, it's not like a prison cell. No, not a prison cell. All right, listen, let's go off here. I don't know if there's an entryway over here. I don't know. Do I ring the bell? There, there's a, there's a gate over here, but I don't know what it is. If it's open. Well, we're pretty high, we're at a higher ground level. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is up. I can't believe this place is open. I know, right? Did you even know it? No. But I want to go in there, see? See, I don't know. I don't see there's there's a gate here, but I don't know if it's locked. It sure. probably it probably is. Sure. Yeah, and then if not, we'll go ring the bell. Oh, you know what? Maybe that whole thing in the back there is for them alone. I don't know, but you, they might not like the idea that you're videotaping. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, you say so. Of course not. I, if I was in there, maybe not. No, not. I'm not saying not out here, but. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, of some. course. Do you know the yellow heads on the dandelions have the highest concentration of vitamin C out of any Really? Plant? But aren't those the things that, um, the... <gasps> That's the sound of holiness. Listen, Peter, I'm so excited. I was going to do this. Was <laughs> oh, he's praying. No, listen, in Thailand, Lisa, nice. listen to this. When I, I was... <gasps> Lisa, when I was in yes. Thailand, yeah. listen to this, I was in the city. Uh-huh. You know, like, it's like Grand Central Station. The bell rang like that and everybody did this. Look, everybody froze on them like this. Oh, all at the same time. That's so nice. And I was like, what? That is beautiful. Everybody prays at lunchtime <gasps> for five minutes. Really? You will see. You know, like it looks like Grand Central Station, all these people hustling and bustling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they all, all stop? Sudden, everybody froze. No way. I was freaked out. I was like, what just happened? <laughs> it's like time stopped. Oh my gosh. Listen, that's one of the sounds of holiness. I don't think we're going to be allowed to go in here. <gasps> it does open, but are we allowed? Are you serious? Yeah, but what if they're what if, what if that's their property? It is their property. I mean, are we allowed though? Wouldn't it be open? Oh, it's not locked. It's not locked. It just says beware of dog. Oh gosh. Alright, we're gonna try. Beware of dog. Is that a dog? Oh, oh yeah, here we go. No? Wait, how's this going? It is locked. It is locked. Um not very well. Oh, 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 no, no. Worst thing that they can say is you have to leave. I, I just want to look like a burglar. You're not stealing it. No. All right, let's look. <gasps> We're going in. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't know. Like, what if this is just for them? There's barbed wire up top. I don't know if you guys can see in there. I mean, I don't know, Peter. I don't know. Should I really do this? Huh? I feel like this is bad. Maybe. Hey. Hello? Hello? That's what it looks like. Uh, uh, oh, there is a lock. Finally. Dang it. 
<laughs> You're funny. All right, I think, that I, I bet you will be able to visit. I bet you anything. They're not gonna say no. All right. This is a, a cloistered. That means that they don't come out. Yeah, like like a cloister, like a, an oyster. All right, careful of the steps. There's a rail in here. Yes. Did you know that an oyster produces one pearl in its whole lifetime? Yes. If you want a printed enrollment, uh, let's see. If you want a printed enrollment, should I just go in? Right. Oh, it's opening. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. We're going in. I might have to put this away. Let me find out. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, it says if you wish to speak to the sister, please ring the bell. Oh, oh my gosh, this place is gorgeous. These are books, yeah. Look at all the books. What I like down there. Oh, the lights just turned on. See, there's the holy face of Jesus, uh, Peter. When you ask, how do we know? There's the holy face of Jesus. So do I ring the bell? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna close this. So they're gonna come in. Look. Oh, here we go. Are you in this? Come here. I'm not. I'm sorry, I can't show you guys, but you can listen. They live a very quiet life. There's no talking. They say when you sin, it's usually with your mouth. Really? Yeah. That's yeah. why they don't talk. Ooh. Yeah. Very good. Some monasteries actually cut their tongues off. What? So they'll never talk because it guarantees they'll never sin with their mouth. Oh. Hi. 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 I'm so excited. My name is Lisa. This is my friend Peter. Hi. I just recently, I hope it's okay that I, I said ring the bell if I wanted well, to. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I just looked this up online, uh -huh. and I don't know if any visitors are, are allowed anywhere on the property. No. You're not. No. Yeah. No. But we are allowed a mask, is that right? Uh, well, we're actually in the process of closing the monastery, so we really? don't have a public mask now. There's no public mask? No. You're in the process of closing it? Yes. Why? We didn't have enough money. What? Yeah. We need vocations. Oh. How many vocations do you have? Um, we just didn't have enough, you know, it wasn't enough. We need we need a certain amount to do what we do and oh my we didn't have enough, so anyway. Is there is there an age limit that you can actually become part um, of? Them? You know, and it depends on the place. Different place, you know, some places take older people. Yeah. Some, some don't, you know. Do you guys? We, we, we did. You would have? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, but you know, you still don't have enough and so. You know, you know, oh, so sorry. So, what happens to each of you now? We get dispersed to different places. You oh, know, wow. Depending on our situation, and, and you know, so. that's terrible. What do you do with the the building? What I, happens? I don't know. That's so, not. Yeah, Reverend Mother is in the process of looking into what the options are for that. You know. Wow. Um, uh, this sorry is that a... that's your first visit. I know. I'm yeah. so upset. Yeah. Oh wow. Are, are there others around? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I'm so sorry, but well, hey, God's will, right? That's it. Most places only have one in, in a diocese, but it's a big diocese, and it used to be heavily Catholic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. What, what is your name? Sister Julie Trez. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, that's such a shame. How long has this been here? Um, 60 something. Wow. It's 58. It was founded. Wow. Yeah. When were you, when did you come here? Um, 2014. Oh, not too long. Wow. I'm a direct descendant of Master Matthew, or oh. Saint Matthew. Oh. My last name it? is Master Matthew. In uh -huh. the Roman, it's Mastro Matei. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wow. Very nice. My first name is Pietro. Okay. Yeah. Sounds really Italian. It <laughs> is. His parents are straight. I broken. actually, one of my great great grandfathers was Pope Innocenti. Uh huh. Oh, okay. So we have a Pope in our family nice. line. Yeah, there you go. Hopefully, a lot of graces come for that. You yeah. Know, and, yeah. And uh, in your family. How long have you been uh, in this location? 2014. Oh, really? That's when you started? Yes. yes. Wow. And so you came here? Yes. 
Wow. We were originally, you don't mind me asking these questions, do you? I just find it fascinating. I was from Connecticut most recently before I came here, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's good to know about that some places do uh, take older folks, because I'm always saying, I, I've been looking, and yeah, yeah. and they usually say they don't yeah. they go to France or something. Yeah. You know? It's not as common, and, you know, because it's not easy to do, but um, some places do. I love it. Thank you for your time. All right. All right. Oh, nice to meet you yeah. Home. There's no way we can take a tour? No. 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 Not now. No. Okay. We'll have to come back when everybody's gone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, seriously, right? When they put on the market, you can come. You know? All right, well, God bless you and every everybody here and wherever you guys go. What's your names again? Lisa and Peter. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll yeah. just say Peter because that's too yeah. much for me. Okay. okay. If you guys could pray for my daughter, she's in remission of cancer. She's 14, and uh, okay, she's at the so tail end of all her treatments, and then she goes into maintenance. So that'd be great. Her name is Sarah. Sarah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, very right. good. And I'll I will pray for you guys. Pray with, pray yeah. With yeah. Because it goes with us. All right. Thanks. So exciting. Today. It's fun to be Catholic, right? <laughs> oh, what are these books here for? They're free for the taking. All right. I'm going to take a look. All right. Thank you. All right. Oh, they're closing. Oh, my gosh. All right. I know. So I'm going to show you guys all these books later on. But yes, they said they're actually closing. Isn't that a sin? Look at it. In the back, I bet it's beautiful. That's where they do all their hard work and they grow their vegetables, but there weren't enough nuns, as you heard her say. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. This is all their land. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, it's not coming in clear enough, but there is so much beautiful. It goes on and on and on. Oh, I wish I could get a better view for you guys. Uh, but you can kind of get the gist of it, right? See how it just goes forever? Oh, it's so nice. Dang it, it's so nice, right? You get the gist of it a little bit? It's beautiful. Oh, you're not gonna believe it. I found a piece of fence that doesn't have the privacy one on there so much. Can you guys see in there? It just goes forever. Like, could you even imagine this being, you're a nun. <gasps> There's a statue of Christ right here. Oh, this land is magnificent. Like magnificent. If you were a religious nun, and you were cloistered here and you never went anywhere else again, this would be the place to be. It is wonderful. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so, so they have to close. I, I'm trying to call right now to see if, you know, do they need marketing? I mean, like uh, maybe maybe it's against their rule. They don't have enough nuns living here to keep it open, to do everything they have to do. Oh wow, there's graves right here. This is also a cemetery, Peter. Yeah. Oh, eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let your perpetual light shine upon them, and may they rest in peace. One was recently buried. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Yeah, it's also a cemetery, and one was recently buried. All right. I, I, I went in to this parking lot very quickly, just because it's nice to be near water. Right? And even though it's really kind of miserable out. It's not. It's very lovely. A little cool breeze, especially near the water. But let's go sit. Really? Wow. Well, I always say this. If I can't get something here on the planet that I really wish that I could do or have, I say I will receive it in heaven. So it's not like we're never going to have it, right? Okay, we'll sit here. Oh, isn't this nice? Right? It's right on that road. We just need coffee now. Something, well, I mean, here in the spot. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Oh, smell that. Can you smell anything? Oh, it's wonderful. You know what I can't wait for? And you need to go with us, okay? Um, there is a, uh, a place in... And I think it's called the dock side or something. Uh -huh. I'll have to ask Christine. But you sit on the water just like this. Yeah. And you're eating lunch. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't eat clams or anything, but I have in the past. They are wonderful, and I won't ever do it again. But 
it's just wonderful to be around that kind of smell and the fried food and the, yes. the fish thing. You know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. Woo! Yay. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> ah, this is great. I know it's not the most beautiful scenery, but we do have the best oceans and we have the best lighthouses and everything wonderful. I want to take that boat cruise. Maybe you'd enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. Whale watch? Um, I never went on a whale watch, but there's one, me and Christine went on it. You know, it goes out for quite a while and, um, uh -huh. and I don't know, it was just wonderful. It was great. And the, and the, and the lunch was super cheap. Which I was shocked because usually they charge you an arm and a leg, right? right. Um, well, thanks for sitting here with me, guys. That's crazy. I should have took a picture. I know, why didn't you? A, I've never seen anything like it before Look at in my that. life. Wow. See, you can see the blue skies way, way, way over there. And you get all these dark clouds, right? Yeah. And then right there. Oh, it's wonderful. It's like heaven looking down. Yes. God has his eye on us, so do the right thing. Guess where we are, ladies and gentlemen? That's right, Polkari's, my favorite restaurant. All right, for the, un, for the Catholic unschooler, homeschooler, all around schooler, we're picking up a big order. Let's go. <gasps> Look at that, right away, yumminess. This is our new family restaurant, remember? Here we go. That's what I'm doing. 